Hello, once again, and today we're going to be talking about school computers. Well, when I was at school, my school year was 1979 to 1990. So I started in 1979 and finished in 1990. Right, um, in those years I went to three different schools. Now usually people go to two different schools, you have primary school which consists of infant school and junior school. Well it did when I went to school, it's all changed now, it's more like to the American system where it's all year one, year two, year three. It wasn't like that when I was at school, it was three years in infant school, three years in junior school and five years at high school or senior school, secondary school. That's how we know it in the UK. Um, now, when I was at um, infant school, now, when I say you don't, ha I went to two different schools, um, infants and juniors. So usually, most people go to one primary school, which is infants and juniors, but I went to two because that's the way it went <laughs> for me. I think it was something to do my mate went to a different school so I decided to go to that school as well. I think that's how it works but this was years ago. Anyway I won't go into that so when I was at Wolsey, it's not called Wolsey anymore so that would have been the first school I went to. Um, I don't recall ever playing or using I should say using a computer at uh, my first ever school which was uh, infant school. But when I went to junior school, that would have been row down from 1982 to 1985. Um, I do remember, I think there was about one or two computers in the whole entire school. And I think a, 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 there was a day where we always got a computer. It was on this like a trolley. Um, so I remember when it was out so we got the computer for, I think it was for a day um, or half a day or something like that. Um, it was on a trolley and now most schools had the BBC Micro. Um, I don't recall ever seeing the BBC Micro at our, our junior school. But what we did have was something called a research machine link, which is also known as the 480Z. And these, this computer came in two variants. There was a black one in a metal case. Massive thing. Massive thing. I think they came out in 1982, just one year after the BBC Micro. And this is the keyboard was really sweet. had a really nice keyboard I remember it wasn't a, only had a, it didn't have a numerical case I've got pictures I'll put up the pictures um, that's the first computer I remember using at school and there was another variant it was a big white thing think of a Commodore Amiga 500 but a lot bigger <laughs> This thing was massive, but I think it was the same computer, but just in a different case. It was in a, a creamier case, um, a whitish, beigey sort of colour. See, these were the computers I had, we had at school, and I think there was one black one and one of these um, white ones we had at our junior school. And that's what I remember. Until we went to, well, until I went to actually, my high school, which was Addington High School <laughs> which has changed now to Meridian High School but when I went there it was called Addington High School so I attended there from 85 to 1990 and when we went there in the IT class we had loads of those um, those black and those creamy coloured research machines for 80Zs yeah, we didn't have, we did have BBC Micros at that school, but they weren't as popular at our school as those Link, re, as a 480Z re, by research machines. Now, I don't know if any other school might have had them, but we certainly did. Maybe it was popular in the Croydon area, I don't know. <laughs> 
but I think they were a Cambridge based company I don't know but that's what I remember us having now there was a few as I said we did have a few BBC micros and I think there was a BBC Master as well maybe two of those um, in a, it was in a class of a few BBCs and you had these cub monitors I remember these cub monitors colour monitors and you you know because the majority of the class and I think they were connected up to these research machines for AEZ um, but there was majority of these computers like the black ones and the creamy coloured ones most of the computers had green screen monitors so I remember when when it was IT time the IT um, class everyone just drove, dived in tried to get onto the colour monitor I think there was only three of them as far as I remember in the class you all remember this is 85 time 86 time we didn't have PCs at this time but we did get some we did get something like a PC but it wasn't a PC I don't know it could have been a clone of a PC we'll come to that in a minute um, yeah but what I remember was these um, 480Z the, the two variants the black one was the, probably the original one then the one that came after was the creamy massive thing I think it was even bigger than the original one but I had this really nice springy keyboard it, it had to be robust for, you know for the kids you know you know what they're like blah, 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 blah. but these things were tough I mean the black one the original one these things well, it was all metal construction fucking hell these things were massive compared to computers well compared to the home micros at least I'm not talking about the spectrum I'm talking about like the Commodore 64 you know these things were much bigger it's even bigger than the BBC micro as far as I remember even bigger than the Amiga which come out well 87 wasn't it I'm not talking about the 85 PC looking like thing um, yeah these things were massive I remember some sort of networking thing it was all connected to I can't remember what the networking thing was called but yeah, there was loads of little programs on it I remember there was one called Paint Spa Paint Spa which was a um, sort of like a drawing pro but we didn't have mouses that's the thing we didn't have mouses on these computers so you had to use the keyboard I think the cursor keys to navigate the cursor around because I don't recall ever having mouses on these computers um, yeah so that was the research machines and as I said we had a few BBC micros but I, I don't think they was as popular in at our school I know they were popular in the educational market but I think at our school or schools that I attended they wasn't that popular as well as much as these research machines and I think it must have been about 87 or 88 something like that we had these PC lookalike things which was also a comp also made by this company called Research Machine or RM known as the Nimbus the RM Nimbus which could have been uh, 280, 286s or 386s I don't know, they certainly weren't 486s um, now remember these these all had colour monitors or most of them no, I think a few of them had colour monitors and there was others with green screens you know <laughs> what was their colour? I can't remember I can't remember now I think most of them could, some of them could be in colour, some of them could be green screen. Because once again, every, every, everyone was, and that, that was the time, that was the time. Our tutor, our, when we was, I think it was the third year of senior school, our tutor class was a IT class. So in, in registration, we had the computers, you know. If we, you know, our school work, high school, you go to different classes, but our um, tutor class our tutor group our class was an IT class because I remember our teacher at that time for the third fourth and fifth year 
was an IT teacher. So we was in an IT class for our tutor and we had these RM Nimbuses everywhere. Yeah, we, and they had like mouses, these proper, proper keyboards, you know, those like PC type computers, but a clone or something. Yeah, so we had those until I left school, until we left school. Yeah. So I think that was the closest we got to PCs, but but when we left school in 1990, I think it was something like I don't know, 96 or 97, probably 97. I went back there because I had a a computer class. I went to a computer class or something like that, and it happened to be at my old school. And obviously they had um, the IT section, which was where the old cookery classes were. So they've done a little, like a change about in the school. And far as I remember, they must have upgraded to the PC because they were all like Windows 95 computers when I was doing this computer class. So they must have been like a shared with an IT class at school um because it must have because there was the old cookery classes i remember so they must have, in the 90s sometime they must have upgraded all to pcs so probably from the 90s to now they've all got compute pcs now i don't know what else they would have yeah so 79 to 82 at Woolsey, i don't recall computers at all Maybe I was too young to remember, but I don't recall ever seeing computers. Um, from 82 to 85 at um, Rowdown at Juniors, I remember there was a couple of those research machines on trolleys. And then like, Ant and I then, yeah, I remember loads of those research machines, those black and those creamy coloured mm, massive things. <laughs> but I just remember the cables were really springy and really good wow so what did you have at school do you remember what you had at school i mean it probably if you went to school in the 90s you probably all had pcs and till present times you know but yeah i remember I remember those quite well those old computers those old link computers the 4az's um but yeah we did have a few bbc micros but they weren't as popular in our school as those um, research machines. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know what you had at school. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.